Check this out. So here's the scene from Harry Potter. Let's say you love the color grading here and you want to apply the same style of color grading to this photo. All you got to do is to load the reference, locate the photo, click on open and just like that. This is just crazy brilliant. The exact same color as this one. We may want to just mask out the skin tones, but apart from that, just with one click, this is crazy. So this piece of software is just incredible and you don't have to take my word for it. I'll leave instructions in the description on how to get the free trial so you can follow along or try it with your photos. Once you're happy with it, you can actually apply it or export it as a LUT. By the way, I applied it on a smart object so we can always double click on it and go back to it. Don't worry, we're gonna get to it later. And you can click on this button called export LUT. Let's type in HP and save it. Now you can apply this LUT to any video, any image, anything. For example, you wanna apply it on this one. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose color lookup. And we're gonna load our own color lookup table that we just created. Let's load 3D LUT, locate the LUT. Here's the one that we created. Click on open and just like that. Looks like the guy's straight from Slytherin. The color grading is just impeccable. So here's the before and here is the after. In this video, let's see how this plugin performs in different scenarios, what it can do, what it cannot do, how it works, and whether it's worth it for you or not. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the magical world of Photoshop and all of the photos you see in this video, you can download them to follow along by checking the links in the description. Also, I have a gift for you. Whatever LUT that I create in this video is available for you to download absolutely for free, links in the description. So as you can see, this image has a lot of action, but it lacks color. The thing with the Harry Potter color grade was that there was this one green tinge to it. But what if we want multiple colors in the highlights and shadows? Does it work then? First of all, let's press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the background layer. Then go to filter, convert for smart filter so that whatever we apply, whether if it's a plugin or not, we can change the values later. Let's go to filter, retouch for me, color match. Now the great part is it does work with smart objects. Now we don't want the Harry Potter color grade here, so let's close it and click on load reference. We're gonna go with this dramatic sky. Let's take a look at the colors first. So as you can see, there's a lot of yellow, red, blue, purple-ish colors. Let's see how it translates to that image. Let's select that, click on open, and oh my gosh, this just worked brilliantly. Now here you have controls for brightness levels. How much you wanna match the brightness level? So here it is full, here it is less, that's up to you. So I'm gonna go a bit higher, maybe like this. This is fine, and here's the color. How much of the color do you want from the reference? So if it's all the way high, all of the colors come in and it can be very harsh. So let's decrease the color, not too much, maybe at 80%. Now here's the smoothing. We're gonna get to that later and you can play with it right now. For this image, about 66 is fine and you can just apply it. There you go. And anytime you can go back and change the values since this is a smart object. You can double click on this one. If you cannot see it, click on the arrow right here to open that and double click on this one and get back to the settings. And then you can change the luminance, the color, the smoothing, that's up to you. Also, as we demonstrated before, you can also apply this as a LUT. There's an option for export LUT, and then you can import it in Photoshop, Premiere Pro, videos, whatever you want. I highly recommend that you try it with your photos and be the judge yourself. And if you like it, I'll leave a promo code and links in description that's gonna give you the highest discount even if there's a sale. Now let us understand what smoothing does. As you can see in this reference image, there's a lot of colors, right? So when you apply all of these colors into one image, it can lead to some harsh color grading. Smoothing just blends those colors. That's it. So here's an example to perfectly demonstrate that. You may not always need smoothing. So let us load our reference. I'm just gonna load the same reference here. And I feel that the luminance is too high. So let us decrease it. That goes perfectly. And the coloring might be too much. So let's decrease that as well. Now here you'll notice that on the highlights, you have this orange. And in the shadows, you have this blue. As soon as we increase the smoothing, these colors start to blend. At higher smoothing, see, they blend more. At lesser smoothing, they're more specific. Let us increase the color so that you can see it more clearly. So here you have orange, here you have blue, right? So if I increase the smoothing, have a look, all of them blend. So you can control it to your taste. For this image, I'm gonna keep it zero and decrease the color. Maybe a bit of smoothing would be fine. Maybe I'm gonna go even low with the colors. Something like 56 is fine and hit apply. Now you can edit this even further and make it look like she's genuinely looking at the sunset. For it, why not create a gradient? So select the gradient tool right here. I've already picked the colors. If you have not, let's say this is the color. It doesn't matter, just 
drag in a gradient like this. Now you can pick whatever color you want. So for the left hand side, just double click on it and let us pick a bright yellowish or bright orangish color, something like this. Hit OK. And for the right hand side, let us pick reddish color, something like this is fine. And by the way, if your gradient doesn't look like this, if it looks like this, well, you need to choose the radial gradient. Let's pick that and let's place it right here like that. Also, we need to make it transparent as the light fades in. And how do we do that? So this thing needs to get transparent. For it, let's open up the properties. If you cannot see the properties, you want to go to window and properties have it checked. So scroll down for the opacity controls for the right hand side, click on it and set the opacity to zero. There you go. And just like that. And by the way, change the blend mode from normal to screen because screen is a blend mode which brightens. And now you can move it around according to your choice. So I'm going to keep it this way. Very, very subtle. And you can modify the colors at any time. I'm going to make it more red-ish. And for this one, we're going to make it more orange-ish. Something like this. And this looks fantastic. Let's talk about some other interesting features like blending and some other color presets. So I like the composition and the bokeh in this photo, but I wish what it would look like if it had a little bit of the colors and the tones of this one. Let's try it. Load reference and let us load that one. Click on open and instantly it starts to look good, but it doesn't look very drastic. So let's change the luminance just like so and then increase the colors. And as soon as we do that, have a look at it. This is crazy good. So here's the before and here is the after. I'm just going to go ahead and increase the color all the way to 100 and maybe decrease the luminance. Now here's where the blending becomes very useful. Of course, you can hit apply and control the opacity and decrease the effect of it. But what if you want to increase it? You can do both using blend. So if you decrease it, it is just like opacity. It decreases the effect of that LUT. And if you increase it, it doubles up on it if you want more colors. So I love the blending at 152 and this looks fantastic. And then we can control the luminance if it's getting too dark. And once you're happy with it, you can hit apply and maybe we're going to get some skin tones back. But before it, you can also merge it with some other LUTs. So if you want some presets, they have some free ones. You can go to the LUT manager. And here, for example, we're going to go to the grading edition. And here you will find some presets that you can apply. For example, I like this one and we can blend this preset. Let's select that and then again close it and it will be applied. And this preset is being blended with this reference right now. If you don't blend it, you have just the reference and you can blend it with the preset you selected. So maybe at a blend, maybe even just 16%, that's fine and hit apply. But right here, there's a problem. The skin looks really really bad. So the first way to fix it is going back right here and let us try smoothing. If we can smooth it a bit, does it fix the issue? No, it does not. So hit cancel. So we need to get back to the technicalities of Photoshop and that is simply create a new layer at the top, take the brush, decrease the flow to about 20% and change the blend mode of this layer from normal to color so that it only changes the color. Hold the Alt key or the Option key, click to take a sample and just paint. That's all. And just like that, it is fixed. So here's the before. As you can see, the skin is not nice. Here's the after. It is all equalized. Maybe on top of the eyes, on the eyelids. And now when I take a break and look at it, the eyes look too blue. So for it, we're going to choose something like white or gray and just paint over the eyes like this. Not a big deal. Let's have a look at the before and after. So here is the before. And here is the after. And at any point in time, select the topmost layer, hold the control or command, select the bottom adjustment layer, press control or command G. You can decrease the opacity. So if you feel it's too much, you can apply just a little bit of it, maybe 68%. That may be nice for you. Now it is not required that the reference that you choose should be similar to the photo that you're working on. For example, if it's a portrait, the reference doesn't have to be a portrait. If it's a sunset scene that you want, you don't always have to have a sunset reference. Sorry for the construction in the background. My neighbors have been doing construction for the last three years. I don't know what they are creating. Anyway, you know, by this point, my brains are color graded. They really need to stop. I don't know. There has to be something amazing that they're creating. Sorry to digress. So this is the color that I like. And let's say we want this in this portrait. So let's directly get to color match. Inside of it, let's load our reference. And we're going to go to this image. Let's open it. And just like that, 
oh, it's too much. So first of all, control the luminance always and also set the blend to 100. And now let us control the luminance. We don't want to lose the details here. So be mindful of that. So about 26 is fine. Now we don't want that much of a color. So I'm going to reduce it to probably even let's go for 60%. And smoothing is not really required here. Maybe a little bit is nice. So this is smoothing at 65 and this is smoothing at zero. You may not see the difference. So let's keep it at 100 now. Everything is blended in and this is zero. So we don't really require smoothing. Now let's control blending. Maybe you want a little more of it. Yes, I wanted more of it. 122 is fine. Hit apply. By the way, this is a great LUT to export and I'm going to export it and give it to you. And just by doing that changes the whole mood of the image. And at this point, you can decrease the opacity if you come later and you feel like if it's too much, you can do that. Now coming to the final question, is this for you? If you're starting out with Photoshop, if you're a beginner, if you're learning how to color grade, then I absolutely do not recommend it unless you have a specific use case for it in videos or other applications. However, if you are a professional and you make money from your work and you can invest back in your photography business, I highly recommend it if you can invest back in your retouching or photo editing business, I highly recommend this one. This is something you can use to create magic with colors. And the best part is it is simple and it just works. I'll leave a link in the description and instructions on how to get the free trial. And if you're interested, I'll also leave a promo code that's going to give you the highest discount. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. We're up here on cloud nine